The realm of insanity is much more than just a name of a community. It is a place with factions and people and regions. The main thing that you need to know about the realm of insanity is that everything that exists within it comes from a single powerful source, the Manti Tree. A source so powerful it has been the cause of conflicts for many millennia. Though an outbreak of physical war has not happened in thousands of years, the four main factions of the realm are constantly in disagreement over who should contain this power. There is not a single place in the realm that is not touched by this silent war that has been going on since the existence of all. Arrowroot, a place of nature and beauty, homeland to the Katrib and Shaman Orcs the place of which the howling forest can be found. This place is still touched by the silent war of the Manti tree, despite being a place of relaxation and beauty. Westarnfell, the industrial base of the realm, home to the orcs and dwarves, where the great golden reach can be found, the highest point in all the realm. Notorious for riches in its soils, yet it still feels poor against the Manti tree. They too lay in fear. Hillfog, a strange land of which not much is known, once home to the mysterious found ones where their ruins can still be found. Or so they say. A place filled with darkness of which fear seeps into your bones. And yet they still fear a silent war because of the Manti tree. And yes, even Dakshunel, the home of the realm, the center of all, the place of which the queen resides and all the other factions meet, the place which houses the Manti tree itself, the most fortified city in the middle of it all. They are still fearful of the day that the Manti tree's allure becomes too strong. There are four main parties who contribute to this fear, this constant underlying thought that a war could be round the corner. The Order of the Realm. This faction is home to inhabitants who are either fully neutral or believe in multiple entities. They solely serve the realm and its people, following orders from Her Royal Highness and her tea party. Most of the realm belong here, and they worship the Manti Tree as though it were a deity itself. They have special festivals to celebrate its existence. They believe the Manti tree should be kept to the realm. The Drusni overlords, a collection of dark entities who each have their own beliefs based off the name of which they wield. Pride, greed, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath and sloth. They believe chaos and destruction are the keys to maining control and that rules are for weaklings who have no power over their kingdoms. They believe they should control the Manti tree for they are the ones that have the most resolve to do so. The Faithful Union, a collection of sparkling individuals who believe that order and justice are the keys to maintaining control. They follow a collection of powerful deities, each with their own beliefs, wants and needs. Beauty, charity, justice, love, purity, patience and diligence. They believe that the Manti tree should be in their control so that nobody can corrupt it and they can protect it, keep it safe. And lastly, the Lost Ones, a faction to which they believe the Manti tree is wrong. The Manti ritual of which everyone in the realm must take when they are born to decide what they are going to be in life is immoral and wrong. Each should have a free path. They believe the Manti tree should be destroyed and the realm should learn to live off their own backs without the support of this powerful being of which nobody really knows all that much about. They have turned their backs on the Manti tree and use no magic and believe anyone that uses magic is tainted. Somehow, these four factions with their differing ideas eventually came to a peace treaty. Which brings us to today, the day where the leader of the Realm Appreciation Celebration is chosen. Part of this peace treaty was that each year, 
one singular faction speaker will be chosen to be the final voice of any matters with the Manti tree. They will show their celebration for the Manti tree throughout the year how they see fit, and those of the other factions must follow. How is this chosen? Through complete insanity. The thoughts and wishes of the realm go into a magical pot, and throughout that pot, magical votes are thrown to the faction which is deserving of it. I'm sure if you have any questions, we can answer them. But for now, may the man tea tree bring you strength. Thank you for being a part of the realm of insanity.